Hi guys, we are going to talk kindergarten today and my kindergartner just came in <laughs> to join me to sit for a minute. He's still in his PJs, um, but we actually started school yesterday. It was, sorry, I'm sitting on the floor because I thought I'd get a little quiet time in my bedroom. Ha ha ha, funny, funny, huh? Um, yeah, that's funny. Um, but anyway, uh, we started yesterday and it went really well. Um, and he is five and a half years old and we decided to start kindergarten because he was asking consistently last year to do school with his brother. Um, it went from every now and then, yeah, I want to do school to every day and he was able to sit <laughs> and do some things and focus long enough that I thought, okay, we can, we can go ahead and, and move forward with, um, kindergarten, but I didn't overload him this year. I don't want to, you know, like. <laughs> totally come at it yes with um you know all guns blazing so we're kind of gonna do an easy relaxed year and see how it goes so here are our kindergarten picks <gasps> say bye bye okay guys so kindergarten i love kindergarten uh it's a fun year so anyway we have the first thing he's going to do in the morning, most likely, I'll have some things in his folder that he can do on his own when he gets started, but I'm guessing the maze is going to be the first thing every day. This is Kumon Amazing Mazes. He and my second grader are both going to be working through this just because they both like mazes and it's fun. Oops. So he'll have one of these sheets in his, in his folder every morning. And then um, these sheets from Basic Phonics Skills, Level A. This is just some pre-reading and pre-writing. So you have trace the line and then same or different color each pair if they are the same. So um, this he'll just need me to read the instructions to him and then he can do it on his own, most likely unless he's having a high maintenance day as a five-year-old who wants uh, mom right there. And we're just gonna work through this book. Um, it's just some fun things, rhymes, um, there's recognizing beginning sounds and ending sounds, find the rhyme, cut and clap, take one away, you know, do they go together, um, think about it, circle the things that are wrong in this picture, just some fun activities. So he's going to be working through that this year, just on his, mostly on his own, as seat work. And then um, we are not doing a math curriculum this year. We use CLE um, to start out with at least. And CLE does not have a separate math until first grade. Uh, my second grader started it halfway through his kindergarten year. So we may do that again if I'm seeing that he's absorbing the information and ready to um, dig in. But he, we may just wait until first grade. My second grader is very math-minded. It's his favorite subject. So starting it um, halfway through kindergarten, he had no problem. I'm not sure about my five-year-old. Um, we haven't done a lot with numbers. I mean, he counts and stuff like that. But he's not showing, like, any special excitement <laughs> towards numbers and math like my, five, or my second grader does. So what I am doing, though, is printing some things from education.com. Um, you can pay for a monthly subscription kind of thing where you can download and print as many uh, worksheets as you want. I do not have that, so I, there's a limit. I'm thinking the limit may be two or three um, a day, which is not a big deal because it's not a big deal to go in there and just print a couple things. So this is just counting. And then I printed one out on weight, circle the object that is heavier. So kind of like the you know, the the reading awareness, it's kind of math awareness, I guess. Is there such a word? I have no idea. But that's what I'm calling it. So, if I just made up a word, I just made up a word. Because, you know, we can do that. I just read Frindle. If you're familiar with Frindle, I'm allowed to make up a word. If you are not, it's a great book. It's a great read aloud. Um, I actually think it's a great book for high schoolers. In fact, I'm going to do kind of a book... book um, suggestion for high schoolers it's Frindle and a children's book um, that I think would be just awesome for high schoolers to read so if you want to see that you can subscribe and hit that little notification bell okay for reading we are going to be using ordinary parents guide to teaching reading I will have a video um, 
explaining why our reading our reading curriculum choice. I used Logic of English with my second grader, and my 15 year old learned to read in public school with the public school system. This I describe almost as the Dick and Jane approach. <laughs> That's my wording, not um, any you know the the curriculums or you know like their website. But it has the um, let's see if I can find the words. The CVC words, you know, bat, hat, mat, kind of thing. Um, pat, fat, sat, bat, rat, cat, hat, mat. Um, and it's no frills. You know, what's great about this for my five-year-old, what I'm thinking or hoping, um, he gets, he's my silly one. So he likes to just make everything a game, which is wonderful. I love that about his personality. But there will be less in this for him to be able to um, get distracted by and turn into just silliness and make it go all day. Um, but I will have a full video if you want to subscribe um, and hit the notification bell, bell on why I'm choosing this over Logic of English. And there's a lot more to it, and it, it really is just a video on its own. Um... So my kindergartner will be using this, and my second grader will be um, using this. He just finished foundations, but we're going to work um, through this a little bit too. Not from the very beginning. Um, okay, then we have fun things that he can sit and do if there's a break, if I need to work with my second grader, um, but I'm not ready for him to leave the table and get totally distracted with toys and think that he's done so his brain sort of shuts off. So we have um, these dominoes. He loves to play with them. I will link to um, a set like this also. But there's some regular dominoes in there, but mostly just these colored ones. He just has fun with He likes to build. He likes to make designs and patterns. So that keeps him busy for more than five minutes, which is awesome. If you have something that keeps your five-year-old or preschooler busy for more than five minutes, please comment because we all could use more things that keep our five-year-olds busy for more than five minutes. <laughs> oh my goodness, could we ever. Um, <laughs> and then we have these little tiles from Melissa and Doug. Oop, there's, you see, that would probably be from my um, three-year-old. But these are just little tiles that they can match. Um, now my five-year-old likes to do his own thing um, more than he likes to do the patterns, but he does the patterns also. So this is just another, if I need him to stay at the table, but he's done with his stuff here, play with these for a little bit, and he's happy to do that. Now, if you are squeamish to creepy crawly things, you may want to stop this video early. If you are not, keep watching. I'll start with the sharks. They're not too um, scary. Well, at least to look at pictures of. So one of the things I have for him to do that he loves, loves, loves to do um, are these ultimate sticker books. He finished the sharks last year. He still has some extra stickers left, but he did all the pages. And it's really good because you have to kind of match the stickers. So it's great for hand control and all of that. And so you can see some he does really well. <clears throat> some he misses, but, you know, it's just it's just to sort of get that hand um, eye coordination down. So he loves these. He loves the stickers, loves putting them together. Um, and we also have, close your eyes, maybe, Deadly Animals Ultimate Sticker Book. He finished Sharks last year. He started this one at the end of last year, and he'll probably finish this really soon, and I'll have to go in and look to see what else they have. Um, but as you can see, creepy, crawly, deadly things that he has to put stickers on. And he picked this one. There's quite a few of these. He just, he likes the sharks and the creepy crawlies, so I let him pick. And when he's getting close to done with this one, we will pick again. And these are just on Amazon, so I'll link to that also. And you can see at the end, there's quite a few, because he's only allowed to do one page a day, otherwise he'd be through them in a day. Um, but there's extra stickers, so I'll give him a piece of blank paper and he can just play with these. It gives him an extra couple of days anyway to um, play with them, because there's some more right there. And I may save some of them for when he does a good job on, you know, a paper or something, or he's paying attention that day. I can give him a little spider or something <laughs> as a congratulations. He would like that. You know, some kids like sparkles and frills. My boy likes bugs. 
This is a Things That Crawl puzzle. And I tell you, he could do this every day. And this is some, another thing that he can sit and do, and it keeps him busy. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm going to take a drink of my coffee. Sorry about that, I have a tickle in my throat. But basically, every little creepy crawly has four cards. And you can see if it will focus. There we go. Well, there we go. Scorpion, and it has it in different languages. So he has to find all of the cards that go with the one thing. And then he has to put the cards together. Maybe there's only three. I was thinking there were four, but you know what? Maybe there are only three. I think so. Um, but he will find all the cards that go together, and then he puts them together. Now, when we first got this, I separated the piles. Um, so I put all of the, what is this? Tiger salamander. I put all the tiger salamander um, puzzles together, and then I made piles. And then he just had to put the, the puzzle together. And that was a great thing. And now he just loves separating it and doing it himself. Um, I'll link to that also, because this is really great. If you have boys and you want something hands-on for them to do, and you don't mind having pictures of snakes and such. Um, I know some people might. Um, I don't particularly love the spiders, but um, that's his thing. So, you know, we do it. <clears throat> but anyway, that is basically it. Um, we will take a... We will evaluate halfway through the year and decide if we want to move on to, like I said, first grade math or, um, you know, add anything to it. But, you know, kindergarten is kind of fun. My five and a half year old is extremely laid back, extremely just easygoing. So I don't want to um, push, push, push him at this point. He's, you know, a five year old little boy. So <clears throat> we'll just see how it goes and I will do an update video on how all of this is working for him if you have any questions let me know in the comment section if there's anything you want to see specifically up close let me know as well like I said I'll be doing one on the on the ordinary parents guide to teaching reading um, probably later this week so you can watch for that otherwise I think everything is you know pretty obvious I don't you know if you want to see the basics phonics skills or something let me know if there's a video you want to see. Let me know that. Oh, let's cover up these scary things. All right. <laughs> but, um, let me know if there's a video you want to see or um, anything. I, could, I was thinking about going live and just having a chat session because, you know, I was talking to another homeschool mom today and she was feeling isolated and I've been there so many times. It's not even funny where I felt just really isolated. We go places and when we have little ones, oh, look, there's pictures of other things they have. Look, why couldn't he have wanted the baby animals? That's adorable. But, um, sorry. Anyway, um, you know, I've been through seasons where I felt fit felt especially isolated. You take your little ones and when they're in a high maintenance season, you your focus just needs to be on them. And we have, you know, four kids, so I have to make sure everybody's where they need to be and you know, everybody's together. We're not losing anybody and it just happens. So, um you know, if we want to do some lives and just chat, I think that would be awesome. So if that's something you're interested in, um, comment below. We'll try and get some kind of time frames that work. But yeah, just community. Social media has saved my spirit. I don't know how many times when I was feeling like I just couldn't connect to anybody in person just because of the season my kids were in. So that is it for today. Um, we start school tomorrow, so craziness begins. If you are still, you know, let me know if you're doing summer or teaching all year round. And we will see you next time, guys. Happy homeschooling.